Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. I hope you're all doing fantastic and today we're going to be reviewing WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. The user interface on the software has updated considerably so we're gonna go through and get through the functions here. Now this video is only for educational purposes and I will not be actually manipulating any personal data or copyrighted data. This is just strictly for educational purposes and I do not encourage such behavior. So this is an educational video so we're gonna move on. So the, the software that you see here has these menu options. So it has here DVD discs. Now I'm assuming that your computer if you're watching this has a DVD disk drive but if your computer does not and you have an optical DVD disk drive that you can use to the USB then this option is for you now if you don't have a DVD option then you can just pass this on to somebody who does so if you have a DVD option here you can click on the disk and then it will allow you to select the source disk so you place your disk into your drive and it'll detect the disk and then it'll detect the contents so once it does you go to cancel and then you can choose one output format and then you can start the conversion so that way you can choose whatever you want to do and you also have to make sure that your hardware accelerator is set to your graphics card or your inboard processor and then you can also use a high quality engine you can deinterlace and then you can also use it through safe mode and then select the cores that you want to use so if you have a quad core which is four cores then select or if you have an octa core it might give you the other option too so that way the destination folder you choose is automatically by default WinX videos so you can browse for whatever folder you want and then you can click OK and then it'll save it at that folder and then you can also use it for an ISO image so you can browse and find an ISO image that you want to manipulate as well so what you do is you just click browse and then it will allow you to select an ISO image that you have so that way you can use that and then you click OK and then you can also force ISO or force UDF and then it automatically detects and then you can also select a folder and select the DVD folder path so let's say you've already got the content of DVDs out and then it's already in your folder so you find the folder that it contains then you can go from there and then this clears your queue so that way you can start from this menu here and keep going and then this is your options menu here where it'll show you your default audio language you open the output folder and finish the conversion jobs and then you can shut down the computer from the ver conversion job if it's a big file and then it shows the output folder here and then snapshot folder and then it also shows you notify when new version is available so we're going to go done there and then this is just a trial version that I have here so you can just click on register and then register with the email and the license code that you have and then activate and then it will allow you to use all the features so that is what you need to do in order to use all of the features on DVD Ripper Platinum so you can also play back your files here with the play button here and then I'll just go to your folder and then it will allow you to select the contents of the folder and then once it does it will just play back on this menu here and then you can also click on here for check updates and then it says here you are using the latest version and then 99 title DVDs that sort of thing it shows you the release notes and what it fixes and there we go so this is the whole software in a nutshell depending on how fast your computer is and how your DVD drive is able to maximize speeds of disks this is a good software if you want to transfer files back and forth. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. And don't forget to check out the promo code below in the description so that way you can check out the software for yourself and just try it out and see. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.